Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to give you guys some tips on should you start a podcast? Should you do audio only? Should you be a voiceover artist? Or should you focus on doing streaming, YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok? To be honest, I believe not every platform works for everybody. I believe there's some people that are great with just talking to a camera and doing like a full-on conversation like a podcast some people are good with voiceover saying hey tonight in jacksonville florida it will be metallica hate breed and lamb of god and that's the kind of thing that you would do like as a voiceover artist what is your podcast that's going to be different is it going to be you uh, and your husband you and your friends shooting a shit because you got to be realistic with yourself there are so many podcasts out there, it's not even funny. People like Joe Rogan, who is just a conversation. It's not a conversation about a certain single topic. Because we know there's podcasts about MMA fights, podcasts about musical topics, there's podcasts about iPhones. But I believe real conversation podcasts, like what you see in the Joe Rogan experience, are what people like. People like interesting topics, interesting stories, and hearing about people's perspective on the world. And that's why people like it. So I believe if you have a microphone or a voice or a story to tell, start telling your story because it might relate to something. And somebody might see that uh, clip and go viral and get you Uh, started at the end of the day all it is is a story that you need to tell somebody about the time you fell down the stairs or whatever happened happened so for an example i'll tell you guys a story really quickly in 2008 my mom died and i had a friend that was living in chicago out outside of chicago about 30 minutes i think it's about 20 minutes outside of chicago maybe it might be even close to that and i wanted to go visit her and she said well maybe you shouldn't go visit me because your mom just passed away and i replied no i think it's better for me to take my mind off the uh, tragic event that just happened so i'm gonna still use my plane ticket still fly out there and see her she lived in a town called cicero illinois which i think is probably 15 20 minutes outside of chicago i don't know but this was february right and i'm living in california northern california to be exact and it gets kind of cold in the 20s sometimes in the 30s typically 40s 50s so i said do i need to bring a coat or a jacket of any sort she goes no not really you could just come out with a hoodie and some uh, jeans and some shoes. You'll be fine. So I roll up to the airport and the captain of the plane goes, Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be five degrees today with a wind chill of minus 10. And it's going to have a wind of 20 miles an hour. And I go, Wait, I'm not prepared for this. I got a hoodie and a beanie and some pants. That's it. And I was going outside to text her to ask where she was. And my and it was so cold, I couldn't even text her because my hands were freezing, right? And I was like, I go back into the airport. I text her and she goes, I'll be there in 10 minutes. So I wait until she shows up. And when I show up to see her, when she pulls up, she goes, first thing which is so funny she goes yo what's up dude where's your coat where's your jacket i go uh you told me i didn't need one she goes oh yeah you're gonna need one it's gonna be uh, about one degrees so you need one we need to go to the mall and get you one immediately because you're gonna freeze your ass off so what happened is we go to the mall i end up getting a jacket but because it was so cold out it wasn't even funny how cold it was it wasn't even funny and i'm talking it was so cold i couldn't even text right and i was using a blackberry back then so you had a keyboard to text not a not a physical uh on screen touch screen like an iphone so i end up going back to my hotel room and she's at her house so i didn't have a car or any transportation so at the time i had to walk around so I was out walking the streets of, I I guess I was in Cicero, maybe I was in Chicago, I don't really know exactly where my hotel was, I think it was like the outskirts of Chicago, but uh, walking the streets, and I had like some Vans shoes, so I wasn't even wearing 
proper shoes for the snow because it was snowing. There was snow everywhere and there was ice on the ground. So I'm walking to the Starbucks and I don't drink coffee, but I was like, they've got to have hot chocolate or something. I need something that's going to warm me up. So I'm walking and all you hear is, and I fall and hit the ground and I literally bust my ass and I'm sitting there and there's people walking around like (laughs) laughing at me basically because they're like, oh, this dude isn't either. He's a noob. He's new to Chicago or he doesn't live here and he's a tourist and he's a dumbass because he came in February in the snow without any coat, any regular proper proper shoes, no scarf, no nothing. And I remember busting my ass and I got to her after I called the taxi. I went to her house and once I got to her house, her parents were like, dude, you really need a coat. And I was like, well, I got one in a uh I left at the hotel room because I have two hoodies on right now. And they're like, dude, you were so unprepared. And I go, but she said I didn't need one. And I showed them the text message. She goes, oh, yeah, we don't really. Yeah, that makes sense because we're so used to it. But you're not. And I was like, I didn't even know these mother truckers lived this kind of lifestyle. I didn't understand this is what real winters are. Because living in Northern California, it snowed occasionally but when you're getting 40s and 50 degree weather and then you're going to a place where you're getting 15 12 zero you're like oh my god this is bonkers crazy so at the end of the day like i said hearing a story like that it's interesting because you want to know what's going on in the story and you want to hear more of the story i could tell you more of the story but that's how i think a podcast is if you're serious about streaming you're serious about podcasting you got to be consistent every single day but at the end of the day i just think this whole uh doing videos if you're new to it you got to know how to edit you got to be very um what's the word consistent and you got to be very passionate about it because this game will eat you alive, meaning 99% of the people will never succeed. You just have to be very, very consistent, show your true emotion, get excited, yell when you're playing a game or whatever you're doing, and just be yourself. Don't just sit there and barely talk or whatnot. Be consistent. That is the only way you're going to succeed. And don't expect your first live stream, your first podcast, or your first video to get hundreds of millions of views because that's not going to happen. But as always, that is some tip on should you podcast or should you be doing video. As always, it's your boy Trevor back with another one, baby.